Hi, my name is Marin, and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing my hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. And Arunaka Fiji, in this bulletin, 21 complaints against second-hand car dealer. Mass measles immunization campaign continues. And Lotoka Mill to end crushing next week. From the studios of FBC Suba, Edwin Nair. More than 21 complaints have been received against a second-hand car dealer in Nakasi Nosori who's been taking money from consumers and failing to deliver. Consumer Council of Fiji Chief Executive Seema Shandil says the company has been receiving deposits from customers but not delivering vehicles. Shandil says the complaint against the company is valued at $23,400. She adds consumers are constantly being ripped off and misinformed about the vehicle they intend to buy. What he actually does is he makes promises to consumers, right? So he shows pictures of uh, the vehicles that he's going to import in the country and takes deposits. However, he fails to uh, deliver as promised. So a lot of consumers have uh, provided him with the money. But when it comes to getting the, the, the delivery, that is not being done. And uh, we have tried to get him, uh, we have tried to discuss things with him, but he's not forthcoming. The Health Ministry's immunization campaign, currently underway in the Central Division, is focused on children from the age of 6 months to 5 years and those between 19 to 39 years of age. Head of Health Protection Dr. Alicia Sahukhan says this group of Fijians are most at risk of getting measles. She says most of the confirmed cases are from this particular age group. In the Central Division, we are saying that anybody who is from the ages of six months to five years, so children from the ages of six months to five years, can get vaccinated, as well as adults who are born between 1980 to the year 2000. So this is 19 to 39 year olds. And then for the rest of the country, and this includes Central Division, we are also asking parents to check whether their children have received their doses of the measles vaccine according to the National Immunization Program. Alleged child trafficker Josevata Werelangi has been found guilty by the three assessors. Werelangi is charged with one count of aggravated sexual servitude and three counts of domestic trafficking of children. It's alleged that between the 18th and 22nd of July 2015, Werelangi threatened or forced a 15-year-old girl to enter into or remain in sexual servitude. It, it, is, it is also alleged that he facilitated the transportation of the complainant from Nosori to Rewa Street in Suva with the intent that the girl would be used to provide sexual services. Judge Justice Daniel Gounder will deliver his judgment on Monday morning. A 34-year-old Naitasiri farmer who allegedly stabbed his partner to death in Walube, Suva, has withdrawn the bail application made earlier. Luke Nasetava is charged with one count of murder. Nasetava allegedly attacked the victim, Amelia Mafi, with a knife at her workplace on 31st August. The matter has been adjourned to 20th March for pretrial conference. The RFNS Vola Singer is expected to enhance the Navy's hydrographic and oceanographic surveying. Commander Timothy Natuva, Fiji Navy's head of operations, says the vessel will not only enable them to do more in terms of surveying, it will also mean better cooperation with stakeholders and enforcement agencies. The newly constructed vessel, which was commissioned yesterday, is a gift from the South Korean government, an investment of more than $6 million. It gives us an extra capability, especially in terms of hydrographic survey. We need to uh, properly map our waters, uh, other areas that they can assist us with in terms of assisting our Fiji's blue economy, uh, you know, maritime trade, uh, coastal development. So these are the areas that uh, the vessel can, uh, uh, the capability that it provides for us. Crushing at the Lotoka sugar mill will end on December 12th. An expected 1.8 million tons of cane will be crushed at the end of the season compared to 1.69 uh, million tons crushed in 2018. 
The increase is due to higher crush rates and less factory stoppages. Sugar production will reflect a similar increase of an estimated 168,000 tons compared to 160,000 tons in 2018. Fiji Sugar Corporation Chief Executive Graham Clark says it is pleasing that all three sugar mills achieved higher crush tonnage thanks to combined efforts of cane farmers, lorry operators and mill workers. Acting Prime Minister A.S. Sayed Kayum is calling on businesses to stop customers from using plastic products from now, even though the ban comes into effect from January 1st. Sayed Kayum says Star Printery already has paper products available which businesses can order and have custom made. He adds using paper products will contribute towards cleaner environment which will be beneficial for future generations. Sayed Kayum says Fijians need to show responsibility towards the environment. To encourage all businesses uh, that may have customers that use bags, that use cups, that use plates, that they actually have takeaway containers. Please stop using it now, even though the ban comes to effect on the 1st of Jan 2021 for styrofoam, this is already available. 19 finalists remain standing to win the 2019 Hyundai Tucson through the Bula FM's Trechi MLM competition. One of the participants failed to attend a mandatory medical check before the start of competition and was disqualified. The finalists are currently standing in 16 by 16 centimeter squares surrounded by water cups. The last person standing by 3 p.m. will win the 2019 Hyundai Tucson worth more than $69,000. However, if there is more than one participant remaining by the deadline, those, were, those remaining will have to pull the car and whoever clocks the fastest time will be declared the winner. Bula FM's Trichy MLM competition is being streamed live on the Bula FM Facebook page. Climate change is posing a threat to food security. As world leaders gather in Spain to take part in COP25, an investment initiative in agriculture addressing global hunger and sustainable cropping is being discussed. More from AVN. As concerns over global food security increase, a number of major stakeholders have combined forces to assist the under-pressure agricultural sector. The Global Framework for Climate Services, along with the World Meteorological Organization, the Food and Agriculture Organization and others, have put forward a series of strategic recommendations to improve advice in this vital area. Climate services today, when the world is faced with climate variability and climate change, is fundamental to help people take uh, decisions so that they can adapt, for example, their cropping calendars, they can adapt uh, their uh, cropping uh, systems, their uh, choices of uh, the activities which they can implement to minimize the impact of climate. If you are going to uh, uh, have or think of uh, sustainable agriculture, you really need to use uh, climate information so that you can anticipate the type of uh, climate you might have in a particular season and by doing so minimize the potential negative impact of climate on yourself. In other words, you would be taking steps to take advantage of any opportunity that climate can offer depending on where you are and what you do as, a, as an activity. Climate services have shaped climate change adaptation strategies in countries such as India and China to improve agricultural productivity but admit that these services are only at their optimum in the larger countries. The capabilities for using climate services are not even uh, around the world. The Apache, some regions are, met, are better than, than the other. But the bottom line is um, today, uh, all around the world, we still see a difficulty in reaching the last mile. In other words, in making information uh, available and accessible, usable, by communities who are being impacted by climate variability and change. Coming up, Fiji 7s wins first pool game in Dubai. Ahoy Tabua, aku do tali tayo na barong na bula FM, nambando na sir. Bula, alang gonoa, iluto ka do tali tayo na bula FM, balit ni nambando na sir. Ni bula bina ka, nandreking ko sa bula FM nga. É na casa. Na hora que estamos no ativo, não bula FM, não bundo é na série no sul. Nem bula vem na cá. Na hora que o Jerry é o melhor passa. O do Barronga é na bula FM, não bundo. Bula FM, não bundo é na série.
welcome back. The Fiji Airways Fiji Sevens team kicked off its Dubai Sevens campaign with a 24-17 win over Japan this morning. Fiji led 10-5 at the breather. Debutant Kavekini Tambu was shown a yellow card in the later stages of the second half. Here are the highlights. In the early hours of the morning, 4 a.m. local in Suva and Nandi. Held up by Tuai. Room down this near side. Plenty of room and now plenty of pace from Villamoni Butitu. 22 seconds in, if you don't mind. Fujita is a man with ball in hand and set. he gets set. Oh, no. 10 from his own line. It comes out the back though and Jerry Tuai says, oh. Darren Alangi, Darren Alangi chasing Tambu on the switch. Darren Alangi pops it back in field. He did it all season long last year. Darren Alangi, and here he is connecting with his saw Tambu Fiji in again. Fiji keeping their width and now needing to hurry to cover up. The big runners from Japan, one of which is Seru, who keeps it alive. And in goes Ishida. The Fiji Table Tennis Association has taken heed of the advice from the Fiji Sports Council by postponing all events for this month in light of the measles outbreak. Association President Narendra Dralal says this had to be done in order to ensure the safety of players, officials and the public. Lal says the plan was to conduct table tennis clinics for youth who have their school breaks this time of the year. We've been stopped from uh, any gathering due to these measles uh, epidemic that's going on. So until January, I think we won't be playing. Lal says the postponement will affect their preparations for tournaments next year. Today's forecast is for cloudy conditions with possible showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. And that is your FPC Morning News. Remember to join us at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. That's it from me for now. Have a good morning. And I'm from Karavi and Mirchi FM it's hot. Hamachale Nasori se Mirchi FM Bod Julum. Hi, I'm Shari Pukash Bhatkata and Tava me Mirchi FM Sapkinson and Mirchi FM it's hot. Hi, my name is Prashan. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM it's hot. Hi, I'm Shane. I love uh, listening to Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Shavi. We, we love, love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM it's hot.